Windlift, a 2010 Green Engineering Grant recipient, uses National Instruments Compact Rio embedded hardware to deliver mobile wind power to remote locations. Windlift's Airborne Wind Energy, or AWE system, captures energy from higher winds and can be accessed by traditional tower-based turbines. Also, because the generator and transmission are located at ground level, the system does not need a heavy reinforced concrete foundation and can be installed on a mobile platform such as a trailer. Windlift's AWE system consists of a tethered fabric wing and ground station. The ground station transforms the lift generated by the fabric wing into electrical power. As the wing is flown downwind of the ground station, the tethers are allowed to unspool from a drum under controlled load. The wing is actively flown in a crosswind manner to maximize its speed and lift. When the maximum tether length is reached, the wing is depowered and retracted under low load. Although the energy is consumed during retract, the cycle results in a net gain in energy. When the retract is complete, the wing is repowered and the generate stage is initiated again. Windlift has developed and tested two proof of concept AWE prototypes. These systems are designed to deliver 12 kilowatts of net power in class two wind areas. The prototype systems are coupled to battery banks to provide standby power when wind is not available. These systems operate at an altitude of 80 meters with plans to increase the operating height to over 400 meters <coughs> pending approval from the FAA. <clears throat> By comparison, a traditional 12 kilowatt wind turbine has a 20 meter tall tower. The increased operating height of the AWE system means it can access a more powerful, less turbulent, and more consistent wind resource. The AWE system uses two servo motors to control the steering tethers. These cause the wing to turn left and right and also control its angle of attack. A pair of stepper motors control the level wind system, which stacks the tethers neatly onto the drum. The main motor generator is used in both traction and regeneration modes. All of these actuators communicate with the compact Rio embedded computer over a CAN bus network. Other sensors include load cells on all three tethers, temperature sensors, and analog encoders that measure the angle of the tethers. Windlift used the LabVIEW Realtime and LabVIEW FPGA modules to program the software that manages all of these sensors and actuators. Windlift is developing the AWE technology for defense and disaster relief applications. Remote military operations rely on diesel generators to supply electric power. Supplies to these sites are delivered by helicopter, which makes them vulnerable and very expensive. Solar panels cannot match the power density of the AWE technology, which limits their mobility and deployability. A similar situation exists during disaster relief operations. Electrical power, typically delivered by generators, is required to support hospitals, communications, and search and rescue operations. However, delivery of fuel for those generators displaces the delivery of medical supplies, food, water, and aid workers to the affected area. Windlift's next plans for this technology include redesign of the ground station to improve its mobility. The proof of concept systems were developed from concept to prototype in a time frame of eight months, a feat made possible by the powerful and intuitive hardware and software tools from National Instruments.